Most people look at situations like this black and white. Instead of having some type of rational judgment, everything is emotionally based. You have to pick some type of side. You got to be biased about it. So I say that in the fact that I'm not really a big Drake fan. He only has like a couple songs I really fuck with, but I've never really liked his music like that. So I'm not really biased towards or against him. I have Drake's fan base that's gonna defend him, you know, no matter what he does, no matter what he says or anything like that, they love his music and that's all they're gonna see. And then you have people on the opposite end who saw the picture and they're gonna instantly get offended by it. Not a lot of people are gonna sit down, well, damn, instead of attacking him, or being so quick to he didn't mean that. Let me think about it. Why he do this? Why why was that picture taken how long ago? Nobody's really thinking about that type of thing. People are quick to place blame or to take away the blame without actually thinking, you know, Drake is a human being that makes fucking mistakes like everybody else. So his rationale for taking that picture was that it was for some type of, you know, artistic meaning. It was supposed to show, you know, how actors Coming into Hollywood, have to deal with stereotypes and all types of racist tropes, you know, that affect black people and all that. And I don't feel like he's lying. I mean, of course, if you got caught in a situation like that, you'd have some type of explanation for why the fuck you're literally taking photos in blackface. When we really think about it, why would Drake have done that just to do it? Like, was he a sellout before you became a rapper or something like that? It really does make sense, but here's the problem. If you care about things like this and you think on like a social level, like artistic value and all that, why don't you do that now that you have a bigger platform? Now that you're a huge rapper. And this is part of the reason why I don't really fuck with Drake's music like that. Not because I don't like him, because I don't think he's talented, but I say about 80% of his songs are about like some emotional shit, like a breakup or a situation he had with a female, being in love with a stripper, you know, some shit like that. So it's like, if you were so, you know, conscious and you cared about black issues and all that type of stuff, you're a rapper, bro. You know how much influence you can have? I mean, look how, look how big this story is. They said there was a lot of other celebrities that, you know, yeah, use blackface as some type of artistic protest or something like that. But look how big it got when he did it. See the type of influence you have, dog. So it's like, if you really cared about those types of issues, and you want to speak on them, why did you not continue that into your rap career? So I feel like he went about doing this completely wrong. Um, I mean, of course, he didn't have the, the foresight to see that he's going to be a huge rapper in the future. But it's like, if you really cared about that type of thing, why didn't you keep that up? Why don't you make more music geared towards like things like that, you know? struggle in this country i mean now you're a rapper why don't you talk about the struggles of being you know african-american rapper you know that doesn't talk about you know drugs and, and gang banging and you know things like that we're expected to talk about he could easily talk about things like this if he really wanted to so even though he had good intentions at the time it still kind of comes out like like a cop-out so i wouldn't say he's a coon or a sellout or anything like that but this definitely was a mistake you know, I, I, I would definitely say it wasn't a good idea. You know, people who are calling themselves, you know, conscious and real woke and shit like that. Well, here's a, it's a deeper meaning behind it all, like trying to defend it. Then you have people on the other side saying, well, if this isn't okay, if this makes him look stupid, what about what Childish Gambino did in the uh, music video, This Is America? It's a big ass difference though. There was way more thought and effort put into that message that was in his video. Think about it. If Drake was so proud of that photo shoot and what he did, why did it take a diss song to bring it out? It's not even the fact that he had to clarify what happened or explain it. It's the fact that he needed to explain it all. Well, we have even known that he did this shit unless, you know, Pusha T put that in that song. I mean, look look how big Drake is. He could have easily been like, hey, I did this photo shoot back in 2007, you know, check out what I was trying to do, you know, spread awareness, whatever, you know, his intentions were. It doesn't look good when something like that has to just be dug up out of nowhere and used against you. But that being said, that's like, it's an L, but it's a minor L. Here's the real reason why we should be disappointed in Drake. Why is he so quick to defend and explain, you know, the fact that these blackface pictures are surfacing? 
Meanwhile, he hasn't said not one thing about the fact that he has an illegitimate child out there that he wants no parts of. If anything, I would have said something about that first because that makes you look even worse. At least he has some type of rational defense for himself with those pictures, you know. And I could easily, like, kind of give him a pass on it. But, dude, all you talk about is relationship drama and feminine stuff and women and all that type of shit. But you the very type of dude that women don't fucking want or need. You out here making songs like Nice For What and all this shit, you know, geared towards like fuckboys as they call and all that. But you a fucking deadbeat dad. Man, men need to be held accountable for, you know, their sex capades and promiscuity just like women should, bro. It's nobody's fault you out here raw dog and porn stars and strippers and shit. Men can't really get mad at being for, on child support if you're not taking care of your fucking kids. Kids that didn't ask to be brought here. Now I get it. Every situation isn't the same. Everything isn't black and white. You never know who's doing what to who. But dude, you're fucking rich. You're a multi-millionaire. And you chasing groupies and Instagram thoughts and just... Thirsty women in general that you know don't want anything for, from you except a come up. How can you really get mad? You should know better. Why, did, why didn't you use a condom? Why didn't you pull out? There's so many things you could have did. It takes two people to fuck. All these rappers and things like that. You're the ones who let these girls backstage. You're the one who bring them back with you. Like, you know what they're about, so why do you get mad? Like, I'm not saying that it's okay for a female to lie and say that you raped them, but weren't dealing with those types of females in the first place who's gonna who's gonna uh try to get pregnant by you who's gonna say you raped them or lie about some shit that you did to them situations like this man i don't feel bad for all these rappers that have all these kids and i have to pay all this child support and i don't feel bad for these women who get pregnant by these dudes both people on both sides knew what each other wanted it's your fault you got to take responsibility for that you as a female, you were looking for a come up. You knew this dude didn't give a fuck about you. And you as a dude, you should have known what they wanted and you bought right into it. So if we're going to be disappointed in him for any reason, it should be that. And it's not the fact that he didn't tell people he had a child with that woman. It's the fact that he's not taking care of it and it's, it's pretty obvious that he's not doing anything about it. Because a celebrity isn't obligated to tell people about their personal life. As I've said it once and I'll say it again, we don't know what the fuck these celebrities got going on in their personal life outside of the image and the facade that we see. Shit, for all we know, he have even more kids that he we don't even know about. Now people want to remove his black card for those pictures he took and all that but nobody was you know was thinking that oh you're you're biracial you're not even black you're mixed and, and, and you know telling me you couldn't say the n-word when he was making all these hit r&b songs and shit that y'all wanted to hear but now all of a sudden because y'all dissatisfied with the imagery you've seen now all of a sudden he's a coon he's a sellout and all of this shit so all i'm saying is whether you're a celebrity or a normal person if you're gonna criticize someone get your priorities checked if you have a problem with something someone does, make sure your first reaction isn't just off emotion and actually think about why something offends you. And if you're gonna be offended, think very wisely about what you should and shouldn't be offended about.